thought I would share some news or maybe they're just stories. I don't know. Every once in a while I like to just uh, tell a story where usually the light is not uh, very, it doesn't point out that I'm a great person in any way. But I find these stories kind of humorous and my algorithm shows that you like these stories. So maybe you don't think you like them, but uh, enough people do that I thought I would, I would do one. Um, the first thing I wanted to share today is, um, I'm going to call it irony. And the irony in my life right now is that um, I really haven't gone anywhere because of um, not wanting to get the, uh, not wanting to get COVID. Uh, so um, I've gone very few places during this whole time that it's been going on. Um, my daughter will visit occasionally, and when she does, uh, we we mask up. So you, you know, maybe once every two weeks for a couple of hours, I wear a mask and we stay socially distanced. And I ended up with a bacterial <laughs> infection all over my face that I had to go to the dermatologist for uh, last week. So um, I know there is a thing called maskne, which is acne that you get if you wear the mask a lot. Well, I barely wore the mask at all, but. Uh, I was a candidate for this, but I was so thrilled to be able to go and get some a diagnosis and, and get some help. You can see it, it's looking a little bit better, definitely looking better. The other thing that's happening is, um, this is just, I'm not going to tell you the circumstances, but there's a certain thing that's going on and I, I'm not... Um, uh, I'm not free to um, share my opinion. This is like in my regular life, not not here uh, online. <laughs> and so, and so, two days ago, I'm making breakfast, and I went to chew down on a piece of toast, and instead of biting on the toast, I bo bit my tongue. It was really traumatic. I almost bit through my tongue. It was it's a pretty bloody thing, and so sore that I haven't been able to chew for a couple days. So luckily I had uh, some straws on hand, some recyclable straws from the last time I probably had a cavity filled. And um, I've, been, <laughs> I've been mostly on a liquid diet, but uh, what I do know about mouth injuries is that they tend to, um, they happen, they happen quickly, they look kind of yucky, but they can also heal really quickly. But I thought it was funny because literally I have to bite my tongue, meaning not say something about this thing that's going on. And then I actually literally bit my tongue. <laughs> I find that ironic. Uh, the other thing that's happening is some of you know that we uh, adopted a uh, rescue collie and he's doing fantastic. He still doesn't like the hair dryer. Make, make no mistake, we have to train him to like the hair dryer for when I dry uh, my paintings. But uh, in the meantime, I'm, I'm just not using the hair dryer and just slowing down in general. But because of my age or because of who I am, a lot of the times I can't remember his name. And so, you know, Fig Newton was my colleague before this. And so I think his name, I think he, th he thinks his name, his name is Henry, but sometimes I think he thinks his name might be not Fig Newton because <laughs> every once in a while, you know, Tom will say, have you fed the dogs yet? And I say, I haven't fed not Fig Newton yet. <laughs> I got to get it in my head that Henry is here and indeed he is not Fig Newton. Um, the other thing that I wanted to share is uh, sort of this, this saying that I have, which is um, wherever you go, there you is, uh, which, which sounds kind of funny because the grammar is incorrect. But um, I was reminded by an art friend of mine and, and an art group that I'm in that no matter what you do, your personal style is going to be your personal style, no matter how influenced you are by other things. Some of us really wish that we could paint like somebody else, but inevitably we end up painting the way we're going to paint, very similar to you know our, our the way we sign our name on a check, you know, very signature, you know, it's our signature. And so um, it reminded me of that that uh, wherever you go, there you is. You know, you are who you are and we, we need to accept that. And then the, the other thing was, if you've ever had a relationship with anybody, um, inevitably you end up playing this game. I call it the game where everybody plays and nobody wins. <laughs> and it's a game where it can play itself out with a husband and wife, for example, when both of you have, have had a hard day at work, you know, and you compare it with someone saying, well, I was on my feet for two hours and someone else saying, well, I had to write three reports or whatever it is. You know, you're, you want what you want, but both parties want is sympathy and understanding for how difficult their day was. But inevitably, you end up in this, this thing, this comparison thing. And so this happened the other day because Tom had all this, uh, you know, lots of shoveling to do. I, I really don't help with the shoveling. I help with lots of other things, but not, not those kinds of physical tasks. And so he was saying how he had had a really hard day. And he had. I, I recognize that he had. But I had bit through my tongue, as I told you earlier. So I think I might have said something like, well, 
I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm also I'm glad you didn't bite your tongue on top of that. And, then, and before you knew it, we were off to the races, you know, with him saying, well, you didn't have to, you know, whatever it was. And I don't know what it was, but, you know, we're, we're, we've been married for a long, long time. We're old enough that we could both just say, you know what, time out, time out. Nobody wins, nobody plays. And, no, everybody win. Everybody plays, nobody wins. We said, let's, let's just not do this. And so we both agreed not to do this. It's the most ridiculous game ever, you know, who had the worst day ever, or who had the worst flu or cold ever, you know, like I said, everybody plays, nobody wins. So those are my <laughs> thoughts for the day, and I'm wondering if you have some irony happening in your life as well. I hope none of you are uh, silent because you've practically bit your tongue off. I think the weirdest thing about practically biting my tongue, I'm being, uh, you know, I'm exaggerating, I didn't bite my tongue off, I did not have to go to an emergency room or anything, but... Um, uh, oh, but the irony was, you know, it go goes back to what Tom Petty said about how uh, most things I worry about never happen anyway. That's one of his lyrics, which I like so much. Because, you know, I worry about falling or tripping or, you know, being out in the ice and being stuck, you know, all those things. And here I am in my kitchen, you know, regular day, having a piece of toast, and I bite my own tongue. <laughs> and it made me think of Pogo. If you're old enough to remember Pogo, it was a... Uh, a comic strip which was sort of a satirical comic strip and you know the one thing I remember from Pogo is uh, Pogo, uh, Pogo or I don't know if it was his friend the penguin I can't remember the penguin's name uh, uh, character but anyway it was I've met the enemy and it is me and you know so many times I think that that's absolutely true I've met my enemy and it is me if I would get out of my own way things would be much better and at least I have the self-awareness to know that so those are my thoughts for today. Uh, remember to keep the white, your paper white, your paint wet, mass for value, mix for color. Please join my YouTube channel because 68% um, of people who watch this uh, don't click that button. It'd be really cool if you did. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.